Misunderstanding the nitrogen cycle is the number one reason why new aquarium hobbyists lose fish and ultimately leave this beautiful hobby. It's the number one reason why tanks crash, it can be why algae takes over, and it's unfortunately very sadly why many fish keepers just think they can't keep fish alive. I'm gonna walk you through a no BS guide how to cycle an aquarium. I'm gonna help you avoid all the misinformation and BS that unfortunately proliferate this very beautiful hobby. So if you find these types of videos helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Show me a little bit of love. All right, let's dive in. Here's the simple truth. Cycling is not optional. It isn't something you can rush and it definitely isn't what most big box aquarium stores tell you it is. You need patience and you need some very basic knowledge to make it work. So what is the cycle? Cycling is simply establishing a colony of bacteria that protect your fish from their own waste. As food and waste break down inside the aquarium, they create ammonia. Ammonia is extremely toxic to fish, shrimp, and snails. The cycle contains two bacterial armies that make the process work. The first army of bacteria converts ammonia into nitrite, which is less toxic but still harmful. Then a second army converts nitrite into nitrate, which is far less harmful at low levels and is actually something plants can uptake and use. That's all cycling is. It's building those bacterial armies so that ammonia and nitrite never reach dangerous levels in the closed system that is your aquarium. These bacteria live on surfaces like your filter media, the substrate, and hardscape. It's a common myth that they live freely suspended in the water column itself. So water changes are encouraged. They don't remove your cycle, they simply remove excess waste. So how do we actually establish the cycle? To build up these armies, bacteria need three things. They need surfaces to cling to, they need oxygen-rich water, and they require a source of ammonia to feed on. If any of those three things are missing, your cycle simply won't progress. There are two basic ways to cycle a tank. Fishless cycling is the modern, safe, humane way to do it, and it's what I recommend. There's zero risk of harming animals if ammonia levels get too high. Fish in cycling, which I consider to be outdated, can work, but only if you use very specific kinds of bottled bacteria correctly, and you couple that by diligently testing the water every day while adding food slowly. There are a ton of myths and marketing BS about bottled bacteria in this hobby. So does bottled bacteria actually do anything? Yes, they do, but many varieties don't do what you think. They only work if the bottle contains the real nitrifying bacteria needed for a long-term biological filter. Those bacteria are called nitrosonomas and nitrospira. These are the strong armies we discussed earlier. Many cheaper products use fast-growing heterotrophic bacteria that quickly remove ammonia for a few days, but then die off when there's nothing left for them to eat. These armies are poorly trained mercenaries and they won't protect your aquarium for more than a few days. So to you, your tank appears cycled until it crashes and fish die. That's not cycling. That's covering up a problem with a short-term unsustainable solution. Real bottled nitrifiers that contain the strong armies we discussed don't instantly cycle your aquarium. They give your cycle a legitimate head start, but you still need to be patient. So here's the secret to choosing the right bottle. Short expiration dates are a good sign because live bacteria don't survive long in a bottle. Refrigerated products are a green flag as well. If a bottle promises an instant cycle, that's usually a marketing red flag, and the bottle most likely contains those weak mercenaries we discussed. So how long does a correctly executed cycle actually take? With no bottled bacteria at all, about four to six weeks is totally normal. When using real nitrifying bacteria, one to two weeks is common. While I don't recommend this route for ethical reasons, a very careful fish in cycle coupled with bottled bacteria usually settles within seven to 14 days. Remember, you're not cycling the water, you're building a colony of strong bacterial armies that will hold down the fort for life. That simply takes time. So how do you know the cycle is complete and it's safe to add fish? There's only one real fail-proof test. First, you dose about two parts per million of ammonia. 24 hours later, ammonia should be zero, nitrite should be zero, and nitrate should rise a little bit. If that doesn't happen, the tank is not cycled yet. It's that simple. Now let's debunk some common myths. Waiting a month doesn't guarantee anything if ammonia isn't being processed. Cloudy water doesn't mean cycling is happening. That's usually just a harmless bacterial bloom. 
Live plants do help reduce ammonia very slightly, but they don't replace biofiltration. And again, water changes do not remove your cycle. So here's how to cycle faster the right way. Use bottled nitrifiers that specifically list Nitrosonomus and Nitrospira. Aim for good surface agitation because these bacteria love oxygen. Provide a stable ammonia source so the colony can grow. This can be from aqua soil, plants, or fish food. And lastly, provide a ton of filter biomedia for your bacteria to colonize. Think of these as large barracks for these armies. This is why I'm a huge proponent of large external canister filters. They can house a ton of bacteria. And I almost forgot to mention, one of the very best ways to almost instantly cycle your aquarium is to use pre-established mature filter media. You can ask a friend for some media. You can pull it from another one of your aquariums. Just make sure that you're pulling the media within an hour of running the filter on the new tank because that bacteria does need constant oxygen to survive. So do it quickly, get the new tank up and running, and you'll already have your army ready to do what it needs to do. So to sum up, cycling isn't simply a waiting game and there's no magic instant cycle in a bottle. It's about establishing beneficial bacteria colonies and giving them everything that they need to thrive. If you wanna learn the next best steps to do after you cycle your aquarium, go ahead and check out my no BS guide to a beautiful algae-free planted aquarium. I'll link that down below in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, like the video and subscribe to the channel and I hope to catch you in the next one. I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.